Okay, ladies, you're now live. Good morning, Good everyone. Good morning. Happy Catcher Friday. It's my cat's favorite, favorite day of the week. She gets extra treats. Just because it's Catcher Friday. Yeah, well, because I made her take her medicine, too. Oh. Is that going towards my ears? Mm -hmm. I'll wear them for a little bit. Then they start to hurt my head. Morning, Dad. Hi, Ace. Hey, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. And Kenneth. And Kenneth. It's a family <laughs> reunion again. Both my brothers must be at work. Hello, Nail. Hi, Nail. She's clear on the other side of the state of Iowa. So I want to try. I want to try. Oh, from where you're. Yeah. You know where you're gonna be? Hi, Bean. Good morning, Jonathan. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Patricia and Jeanette and Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hello, DJ. Hi, Danielle. You should just plan to come to Arizona for winter. Yes. All right, are you ready? Yep. I need to open this, otherwise I'm gonna hit buttons that I don't wanna hit. Like a, That's the backdrop of that. <laughs> like I may have done already. I did it once on the city show. All right, here we go. It. Yep. Good, happy Cat Shirt Friday. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. So it's good morning slash happy Cat Shirt Friday just combined. <laughs> Sounds good to me. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. And for those of you who'd like to watch us on Facebook, you can catch us on the FTS Automotive Facebook live feed, both on my page where we, we originate the live feed and then we share it on the station page. That's right. And if you do not currently follow us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's a getaway. It's a good way to get a behind the scenes of what goes on when Z93, Outlaw Country, and MonsterMediaYuma.com all go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the entire hour. Not only is it Catcher Friday, but we've also got some food coming in. I know. It, it's already here, but Foodie Delicious will be coming in to tell us exactly what it is. I, you know, I'm excited because this is a recipe I sent her um, that I saw online that looked really good, so I'm excited to try it. You need to consult with me before you send her these things. Why? <gasps> what if it's weird? It's not weird. Are you sure? Jennifer, I'm, I'm pretty picky. I'm not <laughs> as picky as you, but I'm pretty picky, <laughs> so um, it's definitely something you would eat. It's right. It's I'm, I'm not gonna, I'll let her tell you what it is, but it's nothing fishy. Um, it, it has it has vegetable. all the food groups you'll eat. Exactly, right. but they're, they're nothing, just combined. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my goodness! I'm Jennifer. still eating on peanut butter fudge from last week. I, well, <laughs> I'm glad somebody <laughs> does. If it wasn't peanut butter, I'd eat it. But you know how I am about peanut butter. A little at a time. It's really good though. See, I'm picky, and I, I wouldn't try and feed you something you didn't like. Okay, mm. you've done that before. <laughs> but. Hmm, Are you I retract that statement. I'm like, wait a minute. I have not tried, the, not that you didn't like. It's just <laughs> stuff you don't want to eat because of your diet. Okay. <laughs> Everything that I fed you is good. <laughs> it's not that you don't like it. Also coming in today, Pop Warner, folks. We're going to be talking about sign-ups for the next season. And we have several other things happening today. 7 a.m. was the cutoff for the entries for the Diamondback tickets for June 29th. And oh my goodness, did we have entries. Did you pick a winner? Oh yes, I did. Okay. Congratulations to, can I get a one person drum roll? <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> and a whoop, whoop from Anita. <laughs> James Yeager is heading to the game next oh, Friday. Congratulations, awesome. James. And then stay tuned on Monday because we are going to be doing a call-in contest for the Saturday tickets for the 30th versus the Giants. We're giving you a heads up right now. <laughs> Maybe you want to get a head start, a little jump start on some pre-4th of July excitement mm -hmm. and head on out of town. Mm -hmm. So we are your Diamondback station. That's right. And they did really good oh, last night. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. The, the game was on, and my husband will go do other things, but he wants to leave it on that channel so he can rewind it and find out what happened. 
and it's when they were up eight to zero at that point. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was going backwards, and I was confused because they were scoring, and they were scoring. I go, oh, do you just keep rewinding it? No. And I'm watching the same thing. He goes, no, they just keep. They're just you know kicking some behind here. Yes, they are. They definitely were, and it was funny because I I entertained uh, family members yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to actually watch the whole game, but when I could hear it, and finally, <laughs> it was funny because. Um, we gotta love Alex Avila, but he actually did pretty good for us yesterday. As much as I um, get mad at him a lot, <laughs> um, Kevin gave me an update when I went into the living room. <coughs> did you know he hit a home run? And he's saying, I'm like, oh, he's telling me all these things. I'm like, are we talking about the same, the same person Alex. here? <laughs> but we were. They did. They did a very good job. And we have another game today, right? Yes, we do. And they're they're doing quite well. Let's just keep our fingers crossed, though. Yes. Are you pulling out your schedule? Yes, I. Am. All right, Diamondbacks are taking on the Pirates, Pirates again. again today, mm -hmm. and it's also an early game. Well, it's 4.05. Generally, they're 6.40 or 7.10 games, but it's a 4.05 game, and tomorrow's game will be at 1.05, and it's a four-game series, so rounding out things. Wait, no, here, I can't read the Let's calendar see. again. Sorry, today is Friday. Today is Friday. 4.05 today, 1.05 tomorrow, and then oh. Sunday 10.35 in the morning. Are they playing the Pirates all the way through? Yes. Oh, okay. Four game series. Okay. And then it's four games against Miami and then home against the Giants. Okay. The earlier games are generally when they travel. Sounds good to me. All righty. Well, today is the 22nd of June and it's National HVAC Tech Day. Whoop. So big shout out to all of our favorite folks at Coke Refrigeration oh, yeah. and, and the many individuals in our community who work hard to keep you cool during the summer. Definitely so some important. of our best friends during the summer. <laughs> yes. Yes. All year round. All, all year round. All year round. Yes. They have one of the hardest jobs because when we're looking at temperatures 115, 120, mm -hmm. that's usually when it's uh, the biggest challenge for individuals to be without their air conditioning units. And oftentimes they're up on the roofs. Mm -hmm. In that intense heat, yeah. or in attic, yeah, yeah, trying to get stuff working. So shout out to Jimmy and all the folks at Quick Refrigeration. Thank you, thank you so much. But not only is it Catch Shirt Friday, it's Free Filter Friday. That's right. Gotta throw that in there. So if you want to keep your system working a little bit better, make sure you change out those air filters. Mm -hmm. And if you go by Quick Refrigeration today, taking your old dirty air filter, they'll give you a brand new standard one inch air filter for free at 190 West 10th Street. That's that you can't beat that. No, you can't. And this is one of my son's favorite days. Not that he eats a lot of them anymore because he's pretty disciplined. It's yeah. National Chocolate Eclair Day. That sounds oh, really good. Oh yeah. That's yeah. There's <laughs> certain places in town if we go there, we're supposed to bring one back for him. He won't always eat it, in which case my husband will. But I, I'm not really an Eclair person. They look delicious, but Oh, I love it. I love the, I love that that cream that's inside. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I it's make, way too rich. I can make that. Well, see, Anita's bragging again. Again, well, don't we, brag. Just we don't do call it. them eclairs. We call them profiteroles. It's it's like it didn't it didn't happen unless there's photos. It didn't happen unless you bring me unless one. you bring. Me I one. have photos. What, <laughs> what, what did you and uh, pull up the microphone? What did you call them? They're not um, eclair. It came from um, like it's a cream puff pastry. Yeah, and then you make the cream. It's an egg yolk cream. Yeah, and then you glaze it with chocolate, but it's from the French profiterole. So when I prepare them, I make it like a cream puff. Um, and then you cut it, you put the cream inside, and then you put the chocolate glaze on top. And Ooh. it's a profiterole. You, and yes, I'll make them. Yes, yes you will eat them. Yes, you right. can bring can, them, can and make, I will not complain. Can you make me a tiny one? Yes. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. It's also National Onion Ring Day. I don't... Uh, you don't like onions. Uh, I... I don't like onions. So some people <laughs> like raw, they don't like cooked, or vice versa. I, you know what? I can use it to cook. Like when I make my rice or you use, because you can chop them up really mm -hmm. small and I can do it that way. But if I like onion rings, I, that's just way too much onion. And forget even trying to put like raw onions on something. It's and way I, too strong. I like them both ways. I do too. Uh -huh. And I, I, like, I like, even on hamburgers, I like yeah. to prepare both ways too. It just oh, okay. depends on what kind of feel I'm going bread for. And, and like, um, the the sweet the, the Vidalia onions yes the it is sweet the red onions are, are really right, good too it has to be the right onion so um, we used to have an establishment that would make the blooming onion mm -hmm. and that was very good it was a large Vidalia onion it's a sweet onion um, but my mom she's funny because she doesn't like raw but she likes it cooked so she'll do like the French onion soup uh -huh. and she loves onion rings so I grew up with you know let me just try one of those and I can eat one. And then I'm done. Mm -hmm. I've had my fill. But my mom will eat a whole thing of onions. And I, I, everyone has kind of the style that they like. Mm -hmm. I remember when we lived in West Texas for 10 months. 
I was seven years old, and they grow some of the biggest onions there. And I remember my parents getting a big batch. And I, I just remember one particular night, we went to the movies, and I think it was after that, mom wanted onion rings. So she made onion rings. They were, they were ginormous. Yeah. I like a thin cut. I don't like a real heavy battered thick, um, a thick battered onion. Yeah. I like a, a thinner onion and then a thinner crust on it, a thinner batter. And, and maybe, I, and I would try, I, I've tried like a, it, it's funny because my husband's like, just eat the batter, the batter is really good. And I, it's just way too much onion for me. You like ranch though. So I, I, I could see ranch. you, I could see you being a dipper. They're really good that way. And you know what? The, Scooper, you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the place, and we kind of found the onion rings at Ronnie's on accident. Someone else had recommended them to my husband. Really? My husband figured that you know you've got the the pizza obviously, yeah. the stromboli, the pizza steak, and Philly no cheese steaks. They have They're like rings. you have to try the onion rings, and we did. They're so good because they use the thinner batter, mm -hmm. and it, but it's really really good and fresh. Well, that's like a secret menu one. Yeah. I have no idea they served <laughs> oh, onion rings. There, there you go. <laughs> Some people believe that a recipe for French fried onions, not claiming to be the originator of the recipe, but appeared in the Middletown Daily, New York Daily Times in 1910, and the pig stand restaurant chain founded in Oak Cliff, Texas in the early 1920s is one of the claimants to the invention of the onion ring, mm -hmm. and a recipe for deep fried onion rings that are dipped in milk, then dredged in flour, appeared in a 1933 Crisco advertisement in the New York Times, and then in the 60s, A&W Restaurant is credited with popularizing the onion rings in fast food restaurants. Now you can find them in many, many different mm -hmm. establishments oh, all, all across the country. Wow, okay. And they're, they're good if you make them fresh, but, you know, you have to, the, the oil has it, to be mm -hmm. just right and it's one of those things. It's better to buy them somewhere because then you're not making the mess. That, exactly. <laughs> and it's national because I tricked Anita a few weeks ago. Take your dog to work day. You didn't <gasps> tell her. Well, I told her before I go, hey, I heard tomorrow's bring your dog to work day. So she did. Uh, well, and he's grown since we see he him really, He's grown and he's going, he's going to be starting his puppy school too. Oh, yeah. Next so Tuesday. When, when he has a little bit more practice, he can come <laughs> back and hang out. It was so funny yesterday. Um, uh, I, like I said, I was entertaining family at the house, but we went a couple blocks over to Richie and Molly's house, and they have two puppies there right now. Oh. She's got a four-month St. Bernard puppy. Oh, my Last goodness. time I seen him, he was big for a yeah, puppy, yeah, you know? And he is now four months old and just over 50 pounds. Oh he weighs as much as my son does. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but he is adorable. We went and played with him yesterday. And then Bailey's in town. So his uh, Great Dane puppy, which um, Luna's about a year old now. But they're they just so floppy, both of them. Mm -hmm. And Luna's really fast in, in when she runs. And... Um, and um, Osimo is very kind of frumpy when he runs. They were just two opposites, but they had Eli running around the whole thing. I wish I could bring him to work. That would be well, fun. Well, we've got, speaking of pets, since we're on the pet track, it is Cat Shirt Friday. That's right. It is our weekly uh, favorite cat shirt day. <laughs> and <laughs> mine, yes, we do take selfies every Friday. She yes. is feeling a lot better, but it makes it more difficult. She still has to finish her antibiotic regimen. Mm -hmm. She has about another five days on that. When she feels better, she want to fight, wants to fight me a little more. Oh, that's so I have a method. I give her a treat first to distract her because she can hear the click, click, click of the, the top of the medicine cabinet or the medicine bottle. You're, you're not um, stealth like well, that? Well, I'm trying to be. It, I try and hold it down and turn it really so she can't hand. hear me. But she's too smart. <laughs> My husband disagrees. He goes, I don't know why you're working so hard. I don't think she has a clue what you're doing. It's just that you're coming at her, and that's all you do no, lately. No, they know. <laughs> they know. Well, we've already started to receive, receive several entries for our Cat Shirt Friday contest. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what the prize is. All right, I'm ready. This week, it includes your Diamondback prize pack. That's a 20th anniversary T-shirt, mm -hmm. hat, a magnetic schedule in the shape of a jersey, a rally towel and a collector pen for their 20th anniversary. Also, a $25 Coutines Restaurant and Cantina gift card. $15 gift certificate from Catherine's Cupcakery. That'll get you half a dozen pieces of deliciousness. <laughs> also, Advocate Pests and Wildlife Specialists have provided a $95 General Pest Control Spray gift certificate. Perfect for this time of year. Yeah, it is. And $25 gift certificate from Oriental House and $50. That's a gift certificate from Laser Gals, so you can get all bikini Ooh, ready for the summer. Sounds like fun. All right. Total value, $250. Yep. And like you said, we've already been getting entries in, so you have until noon today? 
They have until noon today. Noon today to get your entries in. And you can send them anyway. You can send them to me personally. If you have my phone number, you can send them to us through uh, Messenger on Facebook. You can find our emails on monstermediayuma.com. Just scroll down to the bottom. Or you can just send them under, through the Monster Message line, which you guys should already have that number <laughs> saved in your phone. Or you can just message them to the station on Facebook. And I've seen quite a few come through. I haven't actually looked at them yet, but I'm excited. Oh, they're all so cute. <laughs> I it, bet they are. It's so fun. And Lydia, she is with Funny Faces. She says, good morning. We are at the 4th Avenue, Maine for lunch. That's the summer lunch program, and they're doing face painting. And don't forget that this coming Tuesday from 4 to 9, they're having a fun daddy-daughter day at Chili's. Oh, that's in, awesome. In Yuma Palms. So head on over there for that event. It, real quick, we want to say good morning. Lydia wants to see your shirt, by the way. Oh. Um, it, it's my Black Panther shirt because a Black Panther is a big, big cat. He, yes, it is. <laughs> and he's in costume as a cat. It counts. <laughs> I want to say good morning real quick to Lori. Kimmy's watching. Good morning, Kimmy. Uh, we have Jennifer Lilly. You know, it's bring your dogs to work day. How about bring your dogs to our work day? Bring, bring Penelope yes, and Sadie to see Yes, we haven't seen see them in so long. Um, Jay Worm, he says onions are the worst. Yeah. You know what? You're, you're on my list. <laughs> good morning, Alyssa. A Dodger fan, and he doesn't like onions. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda, good morning, Justine. Viri, Lori, Anita. Oh, Anita says hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Anita. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette, Trevor, Chrissy. I know Ace is watching now. Danielle, uh, Ashley, all of you, good morning. And Gilbert and Jace just popped up. Oh. Not together, but back but to back. Back here. to so back. <laughs> good morning to all of you. Good just, morning. Just a reminder, share that feed because maybe uh, one of the topics we're discussing is something that might be of interest to those on your friends list. That's right. You know it, J-Worm. <laughs> <laughs> You're on my list, dude. It's okay. All right. It's today in Yuma. Coming up next, we'll have the ladies talking about Pop Warner here in the Yuma community. And don't forget, Foodie Delicious Friday. It's today in Yuma. And the show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have over 30 years of experience and knowledge. And you can trust Classic Accounting with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Give them a call today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, this is your last chance to take advantage of Ruger Range Days. Best selection, lowest prices, and free Ruger Range gear. Free Ruger gear with purchase. Go register to win a free to win a Ruger 9mm pistol. All you need to do is go to Sprague's on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And we mentioned earlier about free filter Friday. That is courtesy of Quick Refrigeration because Jimmy over at Quick mm -hmm. loves our catch up Friday. So he created a companion day to go right along with it. That's Take right. your old air filter down to 190 West 10th Street today and they will swap it out and give you a brand new standard one inch air filter for free. That's right. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialist, they would like to remind you to head on down to the benefit for Benny Rodriguez coming up tomorrow. Um, it is a, a Fight for Benny Cornhole Tournament. Um, you can find all the details on our Facebook page, but they are raffling off a free pest control service. So why not go have some fun and support an awesome child? Um, Benny's doing a lot better, and we can't wait to get him home. Yep, we want to get him into physical therapy and back here in town and back to school and here on the show, of course. We that's love Benny. That's right, that's right. All right, it's today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. Morning, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. We will see you soon. She's adventuring, I think. I thought I saw that she was adventuring. So, oh, some different yeah, she places. was in Michigan. Yeah. Visiting family. I did see that. We're just hanging out. And there's food. Oh, she gets so nervous Come about it. Right. The ladies can sit in those two chairs. Good morning. Over there. morning. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. How would you like to be addressed? Tree nine along. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tree nine along. I'm good with that. I'm gonna garbage can here. How do you spell your name? A L O N D A. What's your last name along? Brown. Okay. You got all that? Sure. <laughs> Alondra. 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 <laughs> I'll write it down because I won't forget that one. <laughs> and it's Ruger Day. It's Frank's Park. Yeah, it is. Not for much longer, though. Raylene says, Good morning, Trina and Alondra. <laughs> 
And Carrie's watching while the hubby drives. That's safe. Yes. <laughs> but don't let us distract him. <laughs> We have about third, well, about a minute and a half. You're going to want to grab Everything the microphones right here and bring them right up. <laughs> What's that? We only have cat ears for two minutes. Oh, um, Michael's a cat, and I said everything's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cat Shirt yeah, Friday. Friday. Oh, okay. Cat Shirt Friday. Friday. Yeah. I like cats. We so. bring out all of the cat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's Janice's ringtone for me? It's, uh, it's a song. No, it's uh, I like cats or something. Oh like yeah, that. I Otter like Otter. cats. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, I'll have to while you're there. Because <laughs> she was singing it yesterday. I haven't heard it. Good yet. morning, Chris. Almost there. Four fifty-five seconds. We have a bunch of production for mine. Fun. New quarter. Oh, that's mm. why. <laughs> that's, that just means a lot of loading. New broadcast quarter. That's yeah. fine. Uh, no, there's some production too. Jacob will be here. Huh? Jacob will be here, make him Jacob. load. Yes. He can do loading. He can do loading and that's I can do the production. Yeah, because yeah, we'll have the, um, the Craig Wayne Boy to produce and all the vignettes that okay. we have so far. Oh, very good. Looks like I know where I'll be this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try it. I was getting it all done yesterday. I'm trying to work ahead. <laughs> Well, and some of the stuff I was trying to get ahead on, but some of the stuff that... The spots aren't ready yet. No, they're not ready yet. I was looking for them. All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Now you okay. know we're just going to pick on you. And you well, do Trina you need it. to pull that microphone yeah, pull a little bit closer. Yeah. 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 Trina's talking. We want so. She's like, I hear you talk. Like, I can't go. She's like, you're going to hold my hand. Yeah. We're, like, going right. <laughs> we're going to um, make sure to direct some questions just for just you. Just for you, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to stump you, I promise. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed, and Catch Your Friday. Oops. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Our guests are like, there's... there's Everything is, cat. Yeah, everything, everything is cat. Everything is cat today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our guests today, we have Trina and Alanda. They are with Pop Warner here in the Yuma community. And ladies, we have you here because signups are taking place. Yes, ma'am. Signups um, are going to go through the end of July with practices starting um, somewhere around the 1st of August. Now, I remember the Pop, Pop Warner years well. My son didn't play, but my husband and I were almost married, and he was coaching, and I was one of the secretaries for a team. <laughs> I remember Fun the stuff. heat. I do remember it's the heat. Warm. <laughs> very, very warm. So you guys, signups go th through July, but so when do you start actually playing? So it is a summertime league? Um, the practices usually are the whole month of August with the first game somewhere around the beginning of September. Um, so sometimes it's before Labor Day, sometimes it's right after. Um, we don't have a full schedule yet, so we're not exactly sure when the first game is going to be. Okay. Right. But it is warm. Now, <laughs> where will signups be taking place? So signups will be tomorrow, and um, we have our signups at the North End Community Center on okay. First Street, right across from the um, movie theater as you're going to the Oceans to Oceans Bridge. Uh huh. And we'll be there tomorrow from 9 a.m. till roughly about 2 p.m. All right. Now, what type of cost are we looking at for? Uh, now, this is this football, and we also have the cheer. Yes. Can they all sign up together? Yes. It is for um, football. Um, it's for flag football, tackle football, and the cheerleaders. Um, and then, so we'll have the, the sign up tomorrow. We have another one July 7th. And then the last one that's tentatively scheduled right now is July 14th. We're going to possibly open up some during the week sign ups, but they can also always go online and sign up the children there too. And what is that website? The website to sign up online is www.yumapopwarner.com. Okay. Now, what type of documentation is necessary to get your child signed up? You need your 2017-2018 report cards. We need on the report card, it either, either needs to have all four quarters or each sheet that gives the quarter. I know like School District 1 at Woodard, it's a different sheet for each quarter. Right. Some schools give it all on one sheet. Um, they'll need a copy of their birth certificate, a certified copy of their birth certificate. Um, the 2018 Pop Warner physical form filled out. 
and two photos, um, we call them wallet, also known as passport size photos, and then payment. Okay. And even if they don't have all those documents at registration, they can still register and we just have to have all of those report cards, um, physical forms, before they can practice. And is payment required in full the day of registration or can that be paid by first practice? So we do have payment options. Um, they can register with a $50 deposit and then they can make payments, but full payment has to be received by the first practice. And what does that run? Because I know that's one of the questions people always have when they so, see things I share. So when you hear it, it sounds expensive until you hear what other areas are charging. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, well, that's not that bad. So for cheerleading, it's $200, but that includes everything bow to toe. Mm -hmm. um, for flag football, flag football is $175. No, I'm sorry, $150. $150 is 150 and then tackle is 225. Okay. If the child that is registering is a returning player, um, we do give a discount for that. And if it's a sibling group, it's a discount for that as okay. well. Now, you, you, so you have uh, flag football and then you have tackle. Is there a reason do the younger kids play flag and the older do yeah. yes. tackle? Five to seven is flag and then after seven they start playing tackle. And what's the reason for the report card? They're student athletes, I see. so um, we emphasize education first. Um, often, my husband's a coach also, and there's often times when he'll tell the kids, "Bring your homework to practice," and they're on the sidelines doing homework before he lets them on the field. Good, I he love that. He checks yeah. their grades. Um, you know, if they're slipping on their grades, he makes them study first before they can practice. So, and then Pop Warner does have scholar athletes, so they do get an award if they have a certain GPA. Oh, mm -hmm. fantastic. Well, and you're just setting them up for the future. I mean, yeah. it, it, look at it when they start playing in high school and mm -hmm. things like that. They're going to have to start keeping those, those grades, grades up, up in order to play. Mm -hmm. So I love that you guys are, you know, hand in hand with that because that's the most important part. Education How, is very important. How is Pop Warner addressing the whole TBI issue that we're hearing so much about in the NFL? So with concussions, um, we we what we so we make sure that the kids are fitted for their equipment. Um, you can get a concussion with every sport. Right. Um, you can get concussions with soccer. You can get concussions with cheerleading. Um, so if a child is injured on the field, um, we make sure that we pull them off. We make sure that we have them go see the doctor before we let them back on the field. They have to be cleared. That's fantastic. Okay, I know at the high school level they do they have the concussion protocol and they take t a test ahead of time. And my son was to explain that to me, and I go, "What?" And then he said, mm -hmm. "That way they have a baseline, then they understand, yeah, yep. so they can address these things if something if an injury does occur during the game." The coaches also have to take that um, training. Good. Yeah. All right, because I, I know that's a, a concern for a lot of people. They say, "Oh, I'm so terrified. I don't want my kids playing football." Well, like you said, you can get hurt doing anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the. For the first sign-up or the very next sign-up is tomorrow yes. from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the North End Community Center. That used to be the Senior Center. If people might not be familiar yeah. with the new name of it, but it is located um, off Main Street and or First, first, one, first 160 and, East First Street. Okay, that's those weird streets. That, yeah. that like, actually, oh, it's kind of like Gila Street and First just okay. before you go up and over the bridge. You can't miss it. No, yeah, you it's, can't miss it's it. on the north side of First yep. Street next to the hotel. If you, you go much farther, you're going to go splash. <laughs> Exactly. Now, what are the, uh, we talked about the different ages for flag versus mm -hmm. tackle. What ages are allowed for cheer? Um, all ages from 5 to 14. Um, oh, depending on how many girls we <laughs> okay. get will depend on how we separate them up. Last year we had two different age groups, right? Yeah, and it is competitive cheer, so they yeah. do compete. Oh. Um, so we do, we're not a travel team, but we do play within our radius. So we do play Mexicali, we play the Valley. Um, we're trying to get a team in Welton, so we're actually going to be out in Welton on the 30th to do registrations there um, because we want to try to pull in as many kids as we can close to home. Um, but they they compete. They have a jamboree, um, a cheer jam, cheer every, jam every year in the Valley for the cheerleaders. Oh, wow. So, all yeah. right. And the girls all go over there and compete and have a blast. Yeah. And how long has Pop Warner been in the Yuma community? Because they've been around a long time. 
Longer than I know. Longer than I know, too. Um, I know that when my brother, and I'm not going to reveal his age because I'm nice, um, <laughs> it was it was active then, so I'm going to say it's been they, at they least. They started as, like, the gridlock kids. Yeah, it, like was, it was grid kids when yes, my husband yeah. played years ago. Yeah. Wow. Years, years, years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were, it was 1994 when we were involved with Pop Warner. And they were, I'm, I'm glad to see a lot of the improvements to the league as far as the kind of the, the officers and stuff. There were, there were a couple issues that particular year. That's why we didn't return. Mm -hmm. And our, our, our son never played. So, you know, we had other things going on. It wasn't something I, you know, I, I enjoyed our time volunteering. But again, it, it was kind of a struggle. I worked all day and then I went and sat out in the heat doing what I did. I couldn't imagine being out there running around with the kids yeah, and yeah. playing, but, but it is a great organization. Do you have a question? Yeah, we have a question off our Facebook Live. You, Carrie wants to know how many games are played each week and how many practices are held um, during the week. So from 1 August to until um, the end of August, they practice pretty much five days a week because they have to do so many hours of conditioning without um, pads before they can graduate to helmet and shoulder pads and to full gear. So they practice every day. Unless they are with the Cubbies, which is our flag, they don't practice every day because they don't need to. Um, once the season starts, they practice three days a week for two hours. Okay. Um, and then we play every Saturday until roughly about October, the end of October, November, depending on how far you go into the season far as playoffs. Well, and it's no wonder now, now you know, that it's a heavy schedule, but it, mm -hmm. I mean, it's good for our kids. We need to keep them busy and, and keep them on the right track. Well, it's it's great experience and it does prepare them to go on and play at the AIA level. Yeah, and, and that's then, what I'm saying with, the, with them uh, focusing on the education, making sure that their homework, because I know even with the sports that my son has played, you know, during the school year, I'm like, oh, get home, get your homework done, we need to go, you know, type of thing. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that you guys even emphasize that in your guys' time, um, whether the, if they're on the bench, they're doing their homework mm -hmm. type of thing. So. I mean, we have a really good competitive um, program. For the last three years, we've made it to division championships. We've, we've won trophies. Wow. We had two junior varsity divisions last year. Um, here in Yuma, we played under the lights at YC. Um, that was a very good game, very intense. Very um, intense game. <laughs> both of those teams were Division One and Division Two play um, um, champions and advanced to San Diego. Wow. So, so they're really competitive, especially with not having junior high football um, for tackle. It gets them ready for high school because you'll be surprised how many kids have never played high um, tackle football that go right. on to play high school okay. football. Well, it surprised me when my son he attended Woodard. And that they were trying out for flag football. I'm thinking, well, what happened to tackle football? Yeah. And so that that was kind of a, an eye opener for me at that point. And just the the whole concept has changed considerably. Yes. But that Pop Warner is available in the community, and, and it is a large program. Yeah, we also our board president right now is Fred Cogburn. Um, I'm the board vice president, and then Trina's the treasurer, and then. Um, oh. Fundraiser. Sorry. Fundraiser. Cam <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is actually the treasurer. the treasurer. And then Raylene is our cheer coordinator. Yeah, and Raylene's commenting before you share. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's before. good. I'm glad Hi, she's putting Raylene. it. I'm glad that she's putting it on there because when people go back later in the day or if they're just mm -hmm. tuning in, they'll be able to get those questions mm -hmm. answered that they might have. So. That's right too. All right, again, yumapopwarner.com is the website and sign ups tomorrow, nine AM until two PM at the North End Community Center. Cheer, flag, and tackle ages 5 through 14 for the cheer and the football also. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right. And, and all. do you guys have a Facebook page? That way people can go get information there or keep up with what's going on. We have um, we have a Facebook page for Yuma Pop Warner football, and then the uh, Yuma Pop Warner cheer also has their own Facebook page. Oh, perfect. With um, constant updates as to where we're going to be. Um, if people want to try to make it that the couple weeks that we're going to try to have them during the week, we'll be constantly updating. We're going to be at like different restaurants and locations around town trying to give people who were not able to make it just on Saturdays kind of a different option to come in and, and either speak with us or um, register their kids. Now, where do they practice and play? So our practices most of the time is at Kennedy Park. Okay. Um, and then we play, if we're playing at home, it's over at the... Ray Croc. Uh, at Ray Croc, Yeah. And then, of course, if we're away, then usually we're playing at one of the high schools in their area. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to mention, we need coaches. I was right. going to say volunteers. There's, yeah. there's, I, I'm sure that you guys need volunteers. Yeah. Tons of volunteers. We also um, we look for sponsors to try to keep the cost down because other, er other leagues in different areas 
the cost is substantially more. So we do appreciate all of our sponsors that come in every year. Um, so we're constantly looking for new sponsors, and we also have programs to help um, some children that maybe their parents can't afford the fees. We have sponsors that come in and will assist with that also. So scholarship so opportunities. Well, we don't offer scholarships because it's hard to to do that because we don't have a lot of funding. All yeah. of our funding is what we get from registrations, and that covers fields, insurance, uniforms, referees. all you know, referee costs, all that. So we encourage parents to find sponsors okay. through mm -hmm. you know other um, local businesses mm -hmm. and bring that sponsorship to cover their child's registration. All right, all right. I, it's it's a great opportunity, and I, I like that that cheer is a big part of this too yes. because you, you're offering some something for everyone. Now, football can boys and girls play, mm -hmm. and same mm -hmm. applies to cheer, boys and girls. Yes. All right. All right. Well, that's yumapopwarner.com. If you'd like to check that out, maybe be a sponsor or look at getting your child signed up or involved. All right, our guest today, Trina and Alanda. Thank you so much for coming in, ladies. Thank, thank you, ladies, thank you for, for having, having us. us. All right, get out there and get registered. It's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon selfie out in the courtyard. We will do that. The show's brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have over 30 years of experience and knowledge, and you can trust them with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Give them a call today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, they offer training courses including Arizona CCW, First Shot, Hunter Education, and more. Plus, there's always a gunsmith on duty. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And quick refrigeration. If your air system has to work harder due to a clogged filter, it may lead to premature wear and tear on your unit. Make sure to change those filters on a regular basis, yeah. and today you can get a free one. Just stop by 190 West 10th Street, take in your old dirty filter, and they will swap it out and give you a brand new standard one-inch air filter for free. That's quick refrigeration. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists got termites? Never accept a positive termite report without proper evidence. An honest company with integrity would encourage you to get a second opinion and proudly stand behind their word. You can give Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists a call today at 928-343-9149. Honest and integrity is everything in, in everything that they do, guaranteed. It's today in Yuma. We'll be back with Foodylicious Janice after the break and we'll see you and hear about the amazing treat she brought in today. It is good, I promise. It's Z93 oh, Outlaw yeah. Country Monster Media Yuma.com and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live. We will be back. <laughs> Good job! Oh, right. See? 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 You're <laughs> shy over there. Yeah. No, I don't think so. You're so shy. Oh, you totally could have done this all, all on own. your own. You know your information better than yes. most other people. Yes. So you have to find that comfort zone. <laughs> See, next time you won't be so bad. <laughs> Next time you can do it all the way yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Realize right here. Yeah, we're going to take a selfie. Okay, we're going to take a selfie. Ladies, she's like, well, we got to do what? I'm like, yeah, we're going to take a selfie. All right, ready? Smile. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm milking. All right. We'll see you later. Thank you. Oh, pretty delicious. Here comes Be Delicious. She'll explain her, what's in the pan, I saw April. Be bopping over here. Be bopping. She's, she's got curly hair that's bouncing. Oh. Um, she's going with this. She's a bee bopping. <laughs> April says, What's in the pan? Just tuning in. Perfect timing, April. Janice is going to tell us. I don't know why they call it possible. I didn't know if that was a typo or what that was supposed to be. What is that word? I don't know if that's what it was on the. That was on the recipe. Cool. It's that type of chicken, I guess. I didn't name it. I just made it. No. I'd say that about my oldest kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bump. <laughs> I left that one up to my ex-husband. For their boys, you can name them. Yeah, I know. You got screwed in that deal, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. And, well, he well. named one. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. He, he, got, he named one. I picked the rest. Oh, did you? Yeah, because he took the name of one dad and the name of the other dad. And created one name? No, just Daniel Ricardo. Oh. <laughs> I said, great, now you created animosity between the dads because your dad is second. <laughs> <laughs> Why is mine the middle name? Mm -hmm. 
it's weird because Michael and David run in our families, both sides. So I was good with Elijah and Michael. I put that because of my grandpa, mm -hmm. Kevin's dad, uh, my brother. Yeah. It's like I all think over we're good. the place. I think we're good. I think we all the bases. Because Rick, Rick's actual name is Juan Ricardo Ramirez Jr. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, let's do it. Let's name him after me. I'm like, you don't even go by it. Your dad doesn't go by <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, nobody goes by it. Your dad goes by Rick. You're known as Little Ricky. Well, I'm not passing it along. See, we, we slapped a J on Ace for my dad, and his middle name is Alan, which is my husband's middle name, Grant. So it's Alan, and that's my father. Oh, my father was your dad and you and Jeff with your guys' Well, J's we both have Alan. J's. We slapped a J on it because that's why. I thought it was clever. So it was. Now it's very mainstream. Daniel was supposed to be named Ian Joseph. Oh, that's pretty. I wanted to call him EJ. EJ? Ah, EJ. Oh, EJ. I'm like EJ. Travis John, he was going to be Travis, you know, TJ. You could call him that. Oh. I still get. Dang, you had it planned out, girl. <laughs> well, Jace is J A G B, so I'd call him Jaggy B. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I was his rapper name in rap? <laughs> Yeah. He loves rap now. All right, let's go. Okay. It's rap name. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm Foodie Licious. Yummy! Happy Friday, my ladies. Woohoo! You're wearing your little uh, leopard shirt too, and I'm not sure Friday. Yeah. Animal print, so yeah. I thought, you know. It works. Big game, it'll work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it All is. All right, now, uh, you have created something for us, and there's a skillet in the studio. There is. Uh, I pull out the cast iron, and my grandma <laughs> used to cook with them all the time. I used to see my mom cook with them all the time, and these were actually my mom's that she passed down. So, you know, they are in the family for a long time, oh, but right. I, I tend to them not them. use them as much because they cook You're differently welcome. and I just like stainless right. now, but um, Teresa had sent me a recipe that was going around social media and it was jalapeno popper chicken. Yeah, and it wasn't cheesecake. I no. said, are you <laughs> proud of me? It has cheese, it's just not in the cake were, form. Were you proud of me though? I it am. wasn't cheesecake. I am. Every time I see a recipe come from you, I'm like, what cheesecake am I making now? <laughs> But you're so good at it. <laughs> the no bakes. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of them that I send you are no bakes. They are. They're easy recipes, yeah. but they're good. And that's what I like because as moms, we're busy. Yes. As people on the go, we're busy. And you still want to make sure that you give your family a home cooked meal. But sometimes we don't have all the time to do everything we need to do. Well, you, your sister loves cast iron, has about 10 of them, use them every day. I know, she does. <laughs> She's also the baker, and it's ironic I keep doing baked goods. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should do like a Foodie Licious segment with your sister, and then she can make oh. oh. some cheesecake. Foodie Licious is good at cheesecake. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. well, we're just not dropping a hint there, so if you're listening, do not plan on two oh, weeks from she, now to bring cheesecake. She's watching, that's how I know. I was being facetious. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> had to throw out my teacher word there for her, too. F facetious Foodie Licious? <laughs> yes. I have so many names. That's alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the chicken. Like squirrel. <laughs> yes. No, it's it not squirrel. We were just sucking. <laughs> <laughs> chicken. <laughs> oh, it's the long Friday already. Rain it in, rain it in. <laughs> rain it in. So what this is is chicken breast. You don't need very many ingredients. You're going to use chicken breast, bacon, cheese, some cream cheese, and jalapenos. Well, I would have tried it, but I I was worried about the topping. I could do the, the chicken and the, isn't there cheese and bacon inside? Right, you take the chicken breast, um, oh, side squirrel note right now, you know how I get all my stuff at Albertsons on of 24th, course. right? Of course. I have a major love affair with their meat department. Yes. As do I. Oh, I know. Because I always used to just buy, well, ten, generally I buy chicken thighs because yeah. I think they're more moist, but, and I'm, I really stay away from the breast, but when you go to their fresh meat department, they have these chicken breasts that are like on steroids, I swear. Yes. They're huge, so there's only two in the pan today yeah. because we didn't need four. Yeah. And you, they're $1.77 this week, you guys. Ooh, that's And so they're already skinned, up. they're boneless, they're huge, they fresh pack them there, they haven't been frozen. Love affair. Okay, okay back to the recipe. <laughs> 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 I take two of those chicken breasts, and about three quarters of the way down, you do uh, cuts all the way up the chicken breast, about a quarter of an inch apart, half an inch, depending how many things you want to put in there. And in those little slits you put cheddar cheese and I just got block cheese and I cut the slices. I guess you could use slice but I like the thicker cheese like and it tastes a little different. Cheese, yeah. So I put a block cheese in one and then you cook some bacon and cut the pieces in half. So you alternate cheese, bacon, cheese, bacon, yeah. cheese, bacon. And then you put those in the cast iron pan. Then in your mixture you do a pack of cream cheese, softened to room temperature, 
a cup of mozzarella cheese, a cup of cheddar cheese. You can do sharp or mild, whatever you like. I did four large jalapenos, or you can do six smalls. Chop those all up, mix them all together with did salt, pepper. Did you leave the pepper. seeds in? No. Oh, okay. If you want them hotter, leave I the seeds in. I was gonna say, in. ooh, that's gonna be hot. I wasn't hot. gonna be that brave. I, I scooped them out <laughs> and wore gloves when I did them, because you know, I wear contacts, and one time I touched my eye after <gasps> that. Not, not good. A good idea. Not good. It's hard to put milk in your eye with a contact <laughs> <laughs> to do nothing. But I cut those up, and then it says double cream the recipe. You can't find double cream. Like, what is double cream? So I looked it up, and it's heavy cream mm -hmm. or half and half, and you put some melted butter in it Ooh. and mix it and then put it in the mixture. So it's a and diet dish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is super low calorie. <laughs> you had cheese. There's no carbs. No, yeah. no carbs. <laughs> There's no, no carbs. carbs. So and if you're the, on a keto diet, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> And the cast iron just absorbs the oil so that yeah. you don't have any fats. <laughs> There's... This There's really good and healthy. bad fat in that, but... So the, re the reason I sent it to you, because I was afraid, of, like like I said, I could do the chicken and the cheese and the, the bacon and all that kind of stuff, but the topping, I would, I was not sure how it would come out. I was afraid that I would mess it all up by that topping is what scared me. And you just mix it all together in a pan and put it on. When you put it on, you guys, it's a little bit thick, that top layer, because yeah. it kind of looks like a jalapeno popper mixture that you would have like a dip. Um, just smooth it on the top. Throw it in the oven, 350 for about 50 minutes. I cook this a little longer because they're bigger breast, and then you pull it out. And I, like I said, I was worried about. I the bet topping. it's gonna be really you tender. Didn't, you didn't have to like keep a close eye on it or anything no, like no. that. Okay. Just put it in the oven. It melt down. Everything kind of melded together, mm -hmm. and then when you pulled it out, it was all nice and melted on the bottom, but you still had some on the top of it. I sprinkled a little bit of cheese, but and I made rice for you guys to put over it because I think mm. the cheese needs to go on something. But I mean, you could put a side salad if you want. Yeah. Do you make enchiladas? Yeah. Yeah, it's similar. It's to like enchiladas. Enchiladas. Yeah, she's, Anita asked if I make enchiladas. Yeah, but uh, but it, it's different because of the cream cheese and but the, the whole baking yeah. principle is the same. same. Thing, yeah. I was intimidated. Do well, I'm trying to encourage you. And say, you no, are a woman. You can do it. Yes. No, I, I, I'll try. I'm trying I mean, to I didn't encourage realize, you. I, I didn't know. I, I've never done it before, and so I was afraid of the topping, and I didn't want to ruin some really nice chicken. <laughs> 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 but, um, and then I also saw a response that said, if you don't have cast iron, mm -hmm. you can use a regular pan, mm -hmm. like a cake pan and stuff. Just watch the temperature because that's aluminum and it's going to get a little bit hotter. Or do a casserole dish. Yeah. yeah. Because okay. it's a little more casserole no, I have, dish. I have and cast it's, iron, so but it's, it looks really good. It smelled really good this morning, and I can't wait till we get off air and have this delumptious healthy breakfast. Delumptious. I'm, delumptious. I'm, I'm, I'm allowing you two passes for, <gasps> because you said the H word twice, but you're, you're referencing food. I said the H word, and, and no, none of you caught it. Oh, dang it. Well, you're I will pay my quarters. <laughs> yeah. I'll but, put my but quarters in there. When you're dealing with a cast iron skillet, it's not exactly warm if you were to grab the handle. No, that's so. what I was going to say. Do you have a warning for people that don't use cast iron on I a regular basis? I do because, hello, if you can see Facebook, I got my hand this morning. Um, I had already pulled it out with the oven mitt, but then I went to turn the pan and, you know, you just grab it. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh, yeah, that wasn't good. So mm. that's the only thing. Don't be careful, ladies. A sizzling palm on a Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of rice did you make? I just did white rice. But okay. you guys can do a long grain would be really good. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, quinoa if you like quinoa. Um, oh, and I got a new quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, get one of those. <laughs> um, and then I, I was super excited. I told you guys yesterday I got a new Vegetti machine because I've been buying, like, the zucchini noodles and the butternut squash mm -hmm. noodles at Albertsons, right? But uh, I figured I can make them myself. And this is um, an electric one, like, not even a spin one. but And it was on clearance, so my kid got it for me at... So it makes your own noodles. Yes, and I did the linguine, the thicker ones, last night. So the zucchini noodles were just like linguine last night. Really? Ooh. And I could do, I'm going to try carrots next week, see what that does. But, oh, yes. And on to my winner. <laughs> I don't want to get sidetracked <laughs> with all my new inventions. Oh, lots of squirrels. <laughs> Before you announce the winner, though, your sister says game on, and she has an awesome brownie cheesecake. I am down. Okay. She needs a plan for a couple weeks. Oh, that's busy. I think we're all booked out. No, I, I'm coming on Friday. We'll so. be here next, next Friday. Next Friday, but not oh, the Friday after. Ahead a week. Yeah, you are. We're, we're going to So the, she the can plan for next the week sixth. or the week after that? No, she'll be out of town next week. So three weeks she'll have okay. to come in. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Put it on your calendar, Leanna Vine. Go ahead in. Leanna Vine. Oops. <laughs> that was not a noose. You did that on purpose. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> no, that was an oops. <laughs> All right. Each week, Janice draws a winner for the 251 Downtown Twisted Kitchen gift certificate. And my winner this week is Elizabeth Urbeta. All right. Ooh, congratulations. Congrats. And so she's receiving a $20 gift certificate. $25. Ooh, $25. Up in the game. <laughs> to downtown <laughs> 251 Twisted Kitchen. And she'll get to enjoy an awesome lunch or a brunch on the weekend. And starting here soon? They are doing after hours. So Ooh. on Friday and Saturday nights, they'll be on their back patio after they close the regular restaurant. And they're going to be doing tacos, burritos, quesadillas. So if you guys are out and about and you've been out to have a few adult beverages and you want to catch some food but not really want to go into a sit-down restaurant yeah. they have a really cute back patio oh yeah just they do the smell they have a really good back patio Definitely. Leanne's response to Leanne her. says ha 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 on purpose it's all good we're even now <laughs> <laughs> no, but definitely take advantage of that if you're downtown in that area. And like I said, it's going to be a back patio. That's it, it, it's her, cute. It is super it cute. It is a cute patio. And, and he'll be cooking it right up there. He has an outdoor grill and like a little kitchen. And he'll be doing it right there in front of you guys. All right. Sounds good. Again, just go to monstermediayuma.com, click on the Foodie Delicious page, enter to win that gift certificate from 251 for next week. All right, we have one more break. Mm -hmm. Yep, let's we take do. a break and we'll come back with birthdays for our Firehouse Subs. Birthday shout outs. Sounds good. It's today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, Monster Media, Yuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. Sounds good. Perfect. So this morning, the brownie dog. cheesecake sounds so good. <laughs> Probably has a layer. She does a really good at Thanksgiving, also a really good one. It's a cheesecake with a uh, pumpkin pie layer on top. Mm -hmm. that, that's good. I'm not a fan of pumpkin, but the only I ate um, Lori's 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 pumpkin pie cheesecake. Mm. That was good. That pumpkin was cheesecake. Good. That was very good. She does. Leanne I do is really good at cupcakes too. I have to do that too for you guys. The salt, the salted pumpkin bread. It's a, a caramel, salted caramel pumpkin bread. Mmm. I like anything. You had me until they said pumpkin. It's, like, it's oh. so good. I though. will try it. I will try it. It is so I good. Anything with caramel. I like. Oh, caramel. and it's homemade caramel <laughs> from scratch. Mm. I was watching. I, did, I finished the ranch. I did finish it. I was just gonna ask you. I was like, oh. we finished it when I when I texted you that day. I was like, oh man, I haven't it watched felt like the new ones yet. No, we what? won't. We won't. We won't. It's but, such a short season. It seems uh, like we're, we're Leanne's watching. response to you. I don't like pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not a pumpkin <laughs> fan. <laughs> we're watching Young and Hungry, and their one of the friends was dating a dentist, and they've been trying to have some alone time, so they found her this, this date, and they go to the dentist. She's in there eating caramel. He goes, he goes what? <laughs> he takes off running because she doesn't want to mess up your teeth. Oh my then God. he has these special like metal straws that he uses so you don't get anything out <laughs> yeah, of your teeth. You go past your teeth so it doesn't stain them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can do that with your lips too. I was going to say, does it have to be like <laughs> a special straw? Straw? Yeah, I, I use plastic ones. <laughs> what? 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 Oh. 500 million straws go into a landfill every day, Janice. Did I miss that PSA? Yeah. Oh, no. All these people have been <laughs> yeah, talking about it. it. Wait, yes. what's that, Jennifer? Oh, she I, says she doesn't care. <laughs> and I love Sonic. I don't care. I like the Sonic straws better. Some Wait, places Teresa's have using a plastic straw, too, but uh, hers is washable. Hers is reusable. Because it's part of her cup. It is part of my cup. Oh, I use two straws a day. I'm really bad. My um, dog, I don't. I gave up I styrofoam dog plates, at work. you guys. I wish I brought dogs to work. I'm going to go home and bring Rocky so he can eat your toes. <laughs> <laughs> eat your poop toes. in your office. <laughs> <laughs> eat your toes and poop in my office. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something you don't want to see on a dating profile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not very dull moment. Things I enjoy. <laughs> Who <laughs> 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 walks on the beach? <laughs> oh my if there gosh. was a dog dating site. <laughs> there probably is. There probably oh, is. yeah, don't if go they there. Dog and cat <laughs> birthday parties, I'm sure they have a dog dating site. You know what? Site. A quinceanera was essential. <laughs> I'm not putting my dogs on there because if my dog gets a date sooner than I do, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You posted a really cute picture of butter yesterday. But that was butter. So She's so butter. funny. Is it butter or butters? Butter. 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 Unless my kids hit, they're like, "Oh, butter with orders, butter." <laughs> so cute. Yeah, she just laid there and like did it. She's like, "I'm out of here. I'm gonna go swimming." All right, <laughs> oh, we ready? Yep. Here we go. 
Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm Foodie Licious. Yummy! Part two. I only get one. <laughs> I was going to say, she did the food already. <laughs> there is a power outage on 3E and County 17, and I don't know the reason yet, but I'm just letting people know there's a power outage. Okay. All I right. Like the way Keep us informed, yeah. Jen. Keep on rolling there. Exactly. It is time for the Firehouse Sub's birthday shout out. So we have Foodie Licious here because we're, you know, talking food this morning. Yes. And the Firehouse Public Safety Foundation saves lives through donation grants. And when you buy more subs, you save more lives. That's right. Each week, we will take all those celebrating a birthday, the ones that we know about, local <laughs> birthdays, non family, <laughs> put them into a random drawing in our birthday box. And Monday, we will pick a winner. And the lucky winner receives a free medium sub, chips, drink, and a dessert from Firehouse Subs. Now, several birthdays today. We're going to start off with my Aunt Nancy, Nancy Betzer. Aww, happy happy birthday. birthday. Also, David Morgan is celebrating today Aww. with Charles Snyder, Michelle Gibson. You get the next one? Sure. Uh, Darcy McAllister. She is definitely part of the family. She, th These kids growing up make me feel old. <laughs> we definitely do. I think that's our. That's going to be our curse word from now on. What, old? Is old will be our new curse word? <laughs> We're or not just, allowed to say it. Am I giving you a complex with the word old? Well, it's because you're... Because you guys be, are all Who's middle-aged? Middle <laughs> hey, if I'm middle-aged, so are you. You guys are well past middle-aged if I'm middle-aged, okay? I'm just saying. I like to refer to myself as seasoned. Darcy McAllister, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Longtime friend Robbie Ballou, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. And we have Alicia Mercado. She has a special birthday. It says, happy birthday from your co-workers at Comite. And tomorrow we have a birthday wish for Ryan Evarakis. And Sunday, Edna Orozco, Brianna Sims, and Sal Pena. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. all of you. That's right. And how do they how do they get signed up? So if you have a birthday wish you'd like to give or just put your name in the box, there's nothing wrong with that. All you need to do is go to monstermediayuma.com, click on the Today in Yuma tab. There you will find the Firehouse sub logo with the little celebrate banner and um, right next to it is a little entry form fill out that entry form and it goes straight to the inbox and please give us 24 hours because like if you're putting it in right now for today you might as well just post it on the Facebook live because we are not going to see it until after the show so give us 24 hours and again no shame in putting your own name in there then you get a chance to win all right Jesse is asking when the pop Warner signups are for football yeah for football and cheer those start tomorrow. They will be having sign-ups at the North End Community Center from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sounds good. All right. Now, I just want to take a minute and recognize um, a, a very tragic situation that struck the Yuma community. Sunday marks 13 years since the horrific deaths of six people. Mm -hmm. They were the La Mesa Street murders. And on the evening of June 24, 2005, officers from multiple law enforcement agencies, it was an all-hands-on-deck situation, they were called and responded to 2037 East La Mesa Street for reports of gunshots being fired multiple times and an individual yelling for help. And when officers arrived at the scene, they found 35-year-old Luis Rios in the backyard. He was quickly rushed to Yuma Regional Medical Center, mm -hmm. and he was pronounced deceased a short time later. Officers also discovered five more victims at the home four of those were children. 29-year-old Adrienne Herrera was identified as the mother along with her four children, 13-year-old Andreas Crawford, 12-year-old Enrique Bedoya, 9-year-old Inez Newman, and 6-year-old Danny Heredia III. Nearly 12 years after the murders, 50-year-old Preston Strong was found guilty April 25th last year, and a 12-person jury sentenced Strong to death. He was already in prison serving a life sentence. That was a result of the November 2nd, 2007 murder of a local physician, 62-year-old Dr. Satender Gill, who was found dead inside his home at um, La, La Quinta. That's down at Barkley Ranch. Again, that was 2007. But, you know, let's continue to keep the family in their prayers. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with uh, Luis's daughters and several other people that were close friends and family, but also our first responders and all those involved with this case over the years. I couldn't imagine having to see especially children, know, yeah, too, exactly. just that horrific scene. And it was horrible because I knew both Louis and Preston from my football, Monday Night Football family, like, I knew them for years, and it was a shock when I heard it. Well, and I think it was a shock to the Yuma community that something on that side, that it's scale um, could happen here, and, it, and it's a wake-up call, and, and unfortunately, you know, like you said, not only was the family impacted, but we've heard stories from a lot of our law enforcement that had yeah. to work the case that... Um, that's something that they don't want to ever have to see and no. that's something that stays with you 
it doesn't go away. It does, even from the individuals turkey, taking those first 911 calls. Mm -hmm. There's just things you can never get out of your mind. Exactly. You know, having been witness to from, from the, the hearings perspective of mm -hmm. that, but just, you know, uh, unfathomable that it can happen in our own community. But, you know, thoughts and prayers again. Sunday is the 13th anniversary of that very, very tragic day. Yep. Real quick, too, I want to give um, uh, uh, just a reminder out there. We've had a lot of accidents. I'm hearing sirens, and that's mm -hmm. what's reminding me. A lot of accidents lately. Get off your phone. A lot of them are involving texting and driving. Um, just, you guys, we want you safe out there. Yes, we report the news, but we'd like to report some really happy stuff sometimes and not necessarily all of these accidents. And it's just as easy as putting your phone down until you reach your destination. Nothing is more important than that 10 second call or the text that you might be on it's not worth your life or no. someone else's life stay safe out there guys get those catch up friday entries in don't forget that cornhole turn or cornhole tournament for benny tomorrow and dbex taking place today on outlaw country this is z93 and outlaw country it's bob and sherry next on z93 and your favorite classic country on outlaw country kcyk yuma and kljz yuma my Thank you, Anita. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Happy Friday. She, she says, not even middle-aged. <laughs> That's like 50. <laughs> <laughs>